Hello Dooney Addicts, happy Sunday. I am back with another unboxing. Uh, just a little bit of backstory. So, um, had some issues with some orders that I placed over the Christmas holiday and during the 12 days of Dooney. So, in exchange for that, Dooney offered a 35% off discount off of my total. So I had not yet placed um, an order for my birthday bag and um, the bag that I wanted for Christmas, the little holiday Kenzie bag, um, they didn't fulfill that order because of limited inventory. They canceled the order, they didn't have the bag in stock. So with a 35% discount, I felt um, empowered, encouraged to probably spend a little bit more because I knew that I was going to have a 35% discount. So in exchange for that, um, I upgraded the bag that I was thinking about for my birthday and instead of purchasing another Barlow bag and instead of going the Florentine route, I decided I would go Alto. And I went Alto because this bag released initially, I think it was 2013, fall of 2013. And I, as soon as I saw the fall lookbook, I went to order it uh, and it wasn't available. And the color that I wanted wasn't available. And then for a little bit, the bag completely disappeared off the site then it came back and it was in colors that I wasn't exactly happy with because you know if I'm gonna buy an alto bag I'm gonna buy it in red so the bag has reappeared this year on the duty site and it shows as available so I decided that with a 35% discount that I could count that as a sale and I could go ahead and finally scratch this bag off of my wish list so um went ahead and cut the back box open because um, she's in the dust bag and can you see this it's a small bag can you believe I broke down and decided to do a small bag for my birthday this is um, I'm just gonna describe her first so this bag on the Dooney site says that she is nine inches high, five, only, only five inches wide. So you know it's a small bag compared to the Barlow, the City, Dawson, and some of these other bags that I've been purchasing lately. And she's only 12 and a half inches long. She's like a, she's like a dwarf <laughs> in comparison to some of the other bags that I've shown you lately. She has one inside zip pocket. She has two inside compartments, a cell phone pocket, has a handle drop length of three and a half inches, an adjustable detachable strap, um, a strap drop of 25 inches. That's a long strap. Um, it's lined and it has a tongue tab loop closure any guesses any guesses any guesses as I unbox can you think of it place a bet with yourself as I go through um, to reveal her what do you think she is how familiar are you with the Alto collection how familiar are you with things that came out in 2013 I think it was 13 I'll annotate it if it was in a different fall lookbook but it is can you see that Probably not because I'm filming in a different place and I don't know when I'm in camera right now. But it is Viola. Yeah? Do you know who I'm talking about? I'd like to introduce you to my red Alto Viola bag. Happy birthday to me. Oh. She was worth the wait. Oh. Start singing like I just stepped out of the choir at church. Oh my goodness. Do you see her? Oh. 
Okay, I just 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 give me a minute. Just give me a minute to take her in. And then I will start talking about her. Oh, and I got her for 35% off. Okay. Oh, all right. She is red. She is bright alto red. So if you've ever seen a red alto bag, true to color, she is the same color as my red box opener. Okay. She does not have any feet, but she is double gusset. She is flawless. There is not a blemish that I can see on her. Okay. This handle, this little handle, this little ladylike little reminiscent of the 50s, 40s hand bag handle. I am in love with this. This hardware um, it looks like a little horseshoe, little horseshoe hardware. Can you see the shape of that? And it's on both sides. And it just kind of goes through a little um, cut, a little hole punch here in the leather. Little piping. It's actually filled with piping, a little loop here. The belting that goes around the sides of this back. This is a really cute little detail uh, it closes via the flap here I hope I'm in camera I don't know um, nice little flap the loop slides down and the flap comes up and on the inside oh my goodness okay the Dooney and Burke tag here in the little uh, bell-shaped housekeeper on an alto leather strap. On the inside of the bag, there is, um, it looks like two pocket sections. This front section has just a cell phone pocket. Just a cell phone pocket, can you see that there? It's not the little tiny cell phone pocket that I showed you in my uh, domed avocado, uh, domed zip satchel in avocado. It's not that small, but I can't get my smartphone in that pocket either. So it is a small pocket. Um, it is collared around the inside in the alto leather. It has a red, the red cotton lining on the front wall where the pocket is and then just exposed leather on the inside. It is not dyed, not colored. It's just natural leather on that back wall. Then on the back side of the handle, you have your second compartment. It has the strap that is not adjustable is it adjustable it is it's adjustable on one end but it has that loop so it's just a slide up and down um, to adjust it either up or down to the 25 inches registration card no key keeper on the back wall it is um, a full zip pocket and a place for the little um, for your business cards or debit card or whatever um, that is also cotton lined and then on the front wall which is the back wall to the front pocket just exposed non dyed leather Do you see the detailing on the bottom? So you can actually see the size of each one of the compartments on the inside of the bag because you can see the gusset dimensions 
based on the bottom. This aligns with the um, center section of the bag. It does not have that center zip section that I hate in Dooney bags, but it does have a, a divider. I can live with a divider. Honestly, if this bag came and it had the center zip, I'd live with that too because she is beautiful. Uh, for those of you that um, look at the Duty and Burke, um, the fall lookbooks and the summer lookbooks and the videos, if you subscribe to that channel, the model is wearing, I believe it is a black and white hound's tooth dress. And she's carrying Viola. And then in another clip, I think she is wearing a long, um, dark colored trench coat, I believe. She has red lambskin gloves, Dooney gloves, and she's carrying Viola. I don't remember when Dooney had those leather gloves, but I really wish they would bring those back um, in small, medium, large because if they bring them back in small, I probably won't be able to fit them. I'm rambling, but y'all, this, this makes up for not getting the little Kinsey holiday zip bag in red. This, this and 35% off it, and because it was in stock, I was able to put it on easy pay. And it smells, if you've never, if you've smelled, I mean, there's a difference. Those of you, you know, there is a difference between the smell of Florentine leather, pebbled leather, coated cotton has a scent, but it doesn't smell leathery, and alto leather. And I could not be more proud to, to be her mama. This is a, this is a, a great adoption. Um, as much as I want to keep her perfect, we're going to see if we can't pull together a black and white outfit for next Sunday for church and allow her to see a little bit of the city of Atlanta. So, um, the bag, the price on here, yeah. So, this bag was originally $575 with my 35% discount with uh, Georgia taxes. The bag ended up being $396.18. So she really wasn't any more than what I paid for. Heck, my, my, my um, zip Barlow my leather the Florentine leather zip Barlow cost more than my Alto bag because that one on uh, QVC was $458 um, and this one started out at $575 and ended up being $396.18 so I'm very pleased with my birthday bag um, and um, as much as I would like for Dooney to to improve its customer service and to work out the glitches in the 12 days of Dooney and that process, the order fulfillment, etc. Uh, if I can get another 35% discount next year and purchase another fabulous bag for my birthday, I think I will just suck it up and live with it because she is a beauty. She is a piece of she is a piece of art. She just like my Amelia bag, um, just like um, my Evelino in the Tangerine. I am so excited to continue to be able to expand the pieces in my Alto collection. So um, I hope Dooney gets it together. But if not, they can definitely pacify me next year with another thirty five percent discount. And I promise you, I will be adding another one of these beauties into my collection. So, that's it for me. Um, I hope that you are having a fantastic Sunday, that you are all set for the work week next week. That um, the weekend was kind to you and that you were able to get in uh, to some of your favorite places and get into um you know get into some good sales some great buys and um self-medicate 
with some retail therapy and I hope that there was a sale that you could not pass up so that you were able to uh, get a fix to feed your duty addiction. So um, until next video, I hope all is well.